Hello my lovelies, we are going to do a quick 10 minute uh, uh, Surya Namaskar or Sun Salutation focus class today to get some heat and energy in the body to warm you up in the change of seasons. It's now autumn, how has that happened? Um, so we're going to get straight into it. So we're going to start at the top of your mat today. Really plant down through our big toes, squeeze our kneecaps, tuck our tailbone under, roll our shoulder blades under, reach the fingers down into our mountain pose and breathe here. Inhale, arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch and exhale back to heart center. Inhale, arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch and exhale back to heart center. Inhale and exhale. One more, inhale, reach, reach, reach. And exhale, we're going to fold forward halfway, hands on our hips, and exhale, chin to chest, roll on up, vertebra by vertebra. Inhale, arm circle up overhead once more, and exhale, swan dive, arms wide, coming forward three quarters of the way, place our hands on our hips, and then roll on up. Inhale. And exhale, fold forward all the way now. Hands can come beside the feet, knees can be bent generously, crown of the head towards the earth. Breathing here in Uttanasana, our forward fold. We might shake the head yes or no to really release any tension from the neck or shoulders. We might sway gently side to side. Making sure the weight is pressing down in through all four corners of our feet. And when we're ready, we're going to place our hands on our shins. Inhale, come up, hands to the tops of our knees, push away to halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, come up, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Once more, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward. We're going to plant our hands down, step back into our half planks. So we're going to lower down onto our knees for the first one. Make sure our shoulders and wrists are above one another. Our fingers are really spread wide. And exhale, we're going to lower our chest first, down onto the mat, hips coming after. We're going to tuck our toes, the tops of our toes press the mat, hands pressing into the mat as well. Inhale, come up into our cobra. Exhale, lower. You can do that two more times to really warm up the spine. Inhale. And exhale. Once more, inhale, rising up, press into the toes, the hips, the hands, shoulder blades down the back. And exhale, lower. We're going to tuck our toes, push ourselves up into our tabletop position and come into our downward facing dog. So our hips goes towards the sky, we're pressing into all five fingers, all five toes. Our chest goes towards our thighs and our chin comes towards our chest. So our spine is long here, our shoulder blades down the back and you might level one heel and then the other. Gently pedaling out the feet. And when you're ready, we're gonna bend our knees generously, look to our hands and walk on up. You might take lots of little steps into our forward fold. So really take your time here, sway side to side. Push into all four corners of the feet, and rebound up. Hands wide, up overhead, fingertips touch, and back to heart center. Now we're gonna put all of that together. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, come up, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Step back into our plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, come up into our cobra. And exhale. Come up into our tabletop position or through to downward facing dog, however you would like. Breathe here for three breaths. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and the tailbone towards the sky. Exhale, see if you can send the heels a little bit closer. Inhale, shoulder blades melt down the back, biceps squeeze in towards one another. And exhale. When you're ready, bend the knees, look towards the hands, step on up into your forward fold. 
and you're ready press into all four corners of the feet roll on up hands wide up overhead and exhale back to heart center one more inhale exhale fold forward inhale halfway lift shoulder blades down the back navel in exhale fold Plant the hands, step or jump back to plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale to cobra. And exhale. Tuck the toes, press into the hands and come up into downward facing dog. Breathing here. Now we're going to place all the weight into our left foot and rise our right foot off the ground. So it might just be a millimetre. And if you'd like, you can send that right heel up towards the sky. Toes are still flexed towards the face. Hit. Hips are still aligned. Then bring that knee through, placing that foot in between our hands. So we might have to pick it up and take a bit of time to get it here, so that's all right. We're gonna lower that back knee down. Just come into a nice little lunge here, opening up our hip flexor. Now those toes can stay up, or you can have those back toes down, whatever feels good for you. When you're ready, place your hands onto your right knee, rise on up, hands wide up overhead, and exhale, sink down into your crescent lunge. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, release. Inhale, rise up, and exhale, sink a little deeper. One more. And exhale, plant your hands. We're going to lift this back knee, wriggle the front foot to meet the back, and go through your flow, so plank or half plank. Lower down. Inhale to cobra. Exhale. Make your way back through to downward facing dog or come into your child's pose. So breathe here for three breaths. Knee, uh, squeeze the kneecaps, activate the thighs. So we're not just hanging out here, the body is active. Breathing. When you're ready, lift that left foot up, just off the ground a little bit. We'll send the right left heels up to the sky. Bring that knee towards nose, bring that foot in between your hands, lower down the back knee. Take your time getting here, make sure we have that alignment in our knee and ankle and then rise on up. And just stay here for a bit if you need to get your balance. Hands wide and exhale, sink. Flowing here, inhale and exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Inhale. And exhale, sweep the hands down, frame the front foot, lift the back knee, go through our very flat last flow, plank, chaturanga. Come up into our cobra, bent elbows. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes under, press into the hands and come back into your downward facing dog. Breathing here for three breaths. Bend the knees, look towards the hands and step on up into your forward fold. Wrap your elbows or your arms around your elbows. And really let the head hang here. Really put the belly on the thighs. Shake the head, yes, no. Really wriggle out here in our beautiful rag doll pose. When you're ready, really roll on up. Vertebra by vertebra. Hands wide up overhead, fingertips touch. And bring our palms back to heart centre. We'll place one hand on our belly, one hand on our chest here. This is going to be our resting pose for our short energetic class today. Focusing on our center, on the rise and fall of our breath. Inhale, feel the belly, the ribs, the collarbones, and exhale, release. Inhale, and exhale. Now, if you'd like a little bit more of a stretching style class after this, we do have guided stretching in the link below. Otherwise, have a beautiful rest of your day, week.
weekend. Mm -hmm.